the Tapping into Health Coach Training Program, and in this video, I want to talk about a great question we had yesterday that came from Northampton, Mass., which is, I'm also in Massachusetts, down on Cape Cod, though still um, sort of on vacation, but working from here. And the question was about yesterday's video, oh, that would be the laundry going off. That's going to happen again, possibly during this video. Um, but that's what happens when we're live. And so yesterday's video was really about the fail safe in coaching and healing. When you have somebody that you're stuck with, you're not sure what to do. And the fail safe is um, such an easy technique and it really lets you not only feel really confident and in command of the situation, which is how I want you to feel, right? Because I want you to love what you do and I want you to feel confident at it and feel good at it and feel like I knows what I'm talking about. And so the fail safe is whenever it's going off the rails or there's a lot happening, there's a lot of story and you're not sure where to go, you always follow the feeling. Come back to the feeling. And so you kind of stop your client and say, I want to just check in. We've said a lot. It's a lot happening. I want you to take a breath and check in what are you feeling right now. And by the way, a lot of coaches end up doing this in a sales conversation when they're offering somebody a coaching package because clients can get very nervous as they're talking about what they need and, and, and they're just nervous in general because they're not sure if it's right for them and they can offer a lot of resistance maybe like I don't think I can do this I don't know if I can afford it and you can say go into your body and check in so whether it's a conversation with someone in your family that you're trying to help or it's a sales conversation or you're in a session with a client really have them check in with their body because that's real information. It limits it down from the infinite possibility of their story and the narrative and all of the players and all of the things that have happened. And it really brings you to important information. We're talking about the first and second chakra. That's why we want to limit it down. And you're going to get to basic feelings, fear, anxiety, survival feelings, or shame, guilt, embarrassment. You're going to get to real feelings that you can deal with in a really, in a real way. So great question from yesterday was, how, what about when people say, I don't know what I'm feeling? Okay, guess who those people are? Those are people like me because I often don't know what I'm feeling because I can be very much in my mental process because I am doing a lot of creative work. I'm speaking a lot. I'm creating a lot. Um, I have a really big team that I'm managing and I can sort of be up here and go, go, go and not really know what I'm feeling, right? So this happens to us, it happens to our clients, and one of, the, so I wanted to give you two ways that you can get someone to feel, because a couple people jumped in and gave some, uh, gave a great comment on that. Um, but one of the things that I recommend is a quick little trick where someone says, I don't know what I feel. Um, one of the quick things I can say, I know that you don't know, but if you did know, what would you guess it would be? If you really could feel all of your feelings right now, way down in your body, what would you guess you might feel? And often they give it to you and it's right on the money, right? So you're taking the pressure off and you're saying, if you really went down in your body, what would you guess? And I've done this just with quick conversations of people at events where we don't have time to go through a whole process. It's like, well, what would you guess? And they're like, um, fear. And I'm like, okay. So when we're talking about this subject and there's a lot around the story, the key emotion for you right now is fear. Anything else? And sometimes just naming a feeling will bring them to like sadness and they start to feel suddenly. The second technique is to get them more in their body and say, okay, great, let's just take a breath. And I want you to just close your eyes just for a second and just feel into your feet. Feel the bottom of your feet, the way they're touching the insides of your shoes or the floor, and just notice that feeling. And as soon as you say that, it's kind of a hypnotic suggestion. No one can sort of resist suddenly not feeling their feet. Or you can say, I really want you to feel the chair supporting you, where you're sitting, just feel the chair supporting you or feel the chair against your back, the chair against your legs. As soon as you say that, most people come right into their body and notice that sensation. As soon as you notice the sensation, like the chair supporting you or your feet, you're suddenly in your body, right? And so I use that quick little hypnotic language and then I'll say, you know, just imagine what it would be like if you take a few, few more deep breaths, if you could kind of come down into your body um, and actually maybe feel even 10% of what's there because sometimes there's a fear to feel too much of it. So you give them an out like 
and then what would you, you could even say, what would you guess it would be? And that's a little bit safer way to do it. Um, I promised you two tips, but the third tip is really to, when you're working with a client and you know that client well, you can jump in and have them tap on, I don't want to feel it, I don't want to feel it, I don't want to feel it, why would I want to feel it, I don't want to feel my body. There's my buzzer again. Told you it was going to happen in the video. Beverly's laughing at me. Um, and just that tapping on I don't want to feel it will actually bring them into their body strangely and they'll start to feel it. So those three quick ways to help your client get into their feeling so that you can use the fail safe and get to the feelings that are most important and actually start to move the healing work forward. It's awesome and you can use it confidently because unless you're working with robots, Everyone has feelings, and most of us are trying to avoid them most of the time. This is Margaret Lynch, creator of the Tapping into Health Coach Training Program. A couple weeks away from the masterclass I'm going to be teaching. Hope you'll join me there. But right now, I need to get Beverly Carter, and we got to get our butts out to dinner because it's late and we're starving. See you tomorrow. Bye.